so I started painting the rims with Plasti Dip. I went with a gloss black, and uh, I didn't record any of that, but like I ran out, so I had to go out and get more. And it's a couple of days later. It's fucking cold out. It's like 40 degrees. The humidity's, I don't know, like 80, 85%. You can kind of see it's cloudy. So we'll see how the Plasti Dip sticks this time around. But uh, right now I'm cleaning it off with 70% uh, alcohol uh, just to get all the dirt and stuff in the road grime off from when I was driving it. Uh, so you can, you can tell there's, there's a bunch there. So I'm just going over it right now. And then I'll go over it with a dry cloth just to try and clean the rest of it off. And uh, I don't know, we'll go from there. I hope it sticks. If not, it's no big deal. I just wanted to go with the Plasti Dip and see kind of how it looks. Because I don't really like flat black. Um, I just, I don't like how it looks on this car. So I figured a gloss might be better. So I decided to uh, give it a shot. Um, and I kind of like it. I like how the gloss looks. Uh, but you can see how it's still kind of silver right here. From where I didn't get enough coverage. So, uh... Yeah, I'm going to stick some cardboard, which you saw on the other side, in between the wheels here. And then I'm going to put plastic bags back here so I can kind of do it while it's still in the car. It's not right, but it takes too long to uh, take the wheels and tires off in the parking lot. So, uh, that's the plan for this today. Let's see how far I get. And then for the Scion, I'm probably going to do white on the rims instead of that flat black over there. But, uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to set us up for a time lapse and get started. Pretty much cleaned off you can see we're still kind of drying but i think we're gonna give it a shot like i said it's just temporary i just wanted to see how the gloss looks so i guess i'm gonna get started on the other side dries a little flatter but it should the first coat looks like that too so we'll see
sight's not doing too bad. So that gives me a little bit of an uplift for the other side. So we're going to keep going on this one. That front one over there doesn't need it. That was the first one I did, and I took the wheel off for that one. Worked significantly better than what I'm doing right now. But it took too long. So we're just going to do this. It's not looking too bad. Can still kind of see the silver with a couple more, a couple more coats. It'll look good. take a while to dry off what with the humidity as high as it is and whatnot it's starting to run it's starting to run right there I'm not surprised though I laid it on kind of heavy over here it's all right it should dry up pretty nice we'll see I sprayed over it heavy one more time and I'm gonna say since it's getting dark I'm gonna say that's good enough so uh yeah, hopefully this came out well, and I guess we'll see tomorrow how it looks when it's sunny again. to do is clean up the tires and I think that'll be pretty good for a little while all right guys it's the next day and I gave plenty of time for the rims to dry and honestly I think they came out pretty good uh, it's pretty even from this view anyway so I'm liking it I'm kind of surprised how it came out considering how cold and humid it was yesterday, but I think it did, did pretty good. Getting close here. So, watch, I'll move the car and the rims will be upside, upside down the opposite direction and then it'll reveal all the spots that I missed, but eh, we'll see. I think it'll be alright for now. bit here but not too bad all in all so good I like it <laughs> 